I studied, um, I, I actually uh, studied there at the Harare, Harare Polytechnic and uh, then went to Chino University. And um, yeah, uh, Zimbabwe has always been my, my inspiration. All the things that I, I involved in my work, I, I borrow from, from what I see around and also what I what I hear people say and you know like jokes and all these things and uh, also social media I get to know how also other Zimbabweans are living in uh, different spaces you know like Facebook and uh, yeah so it's it's not really limited in, in Zimbabwe only as so, well yeah I think it's, uh, it's uh, such a, a prestigious uh, event and uh, I think it's a great honor also uh, uh, that has been shown to me uh, that I'm also included in the, in the pavilion. Um, and at the same time, uh, the, the, the kind of like group that I'm showing with uh, one of uh, one of them is my f uh, artist friend who we were, who were together in art school, and um, and the other artist is uh, is almost like my mentor as well. So yeah, it, it's it's almost relaxing showing together. Usually when I work, I I kind of like work in a in a series. Uh, so this is like a collection of what I see um, like on the street uh, because I'm like like when I was working I was looking more about uh, the public spaces and uh, the interaction in the in the space so um, so in these spaces I, I find uh, a lot of people trying to to make ends meet you know like uh, vendors it's, it's really interesting for me because it's a uh, i see a lot of different ways of, of of composition if you look at how they arrange the the objects that they're selling they are very conscious about uh, the color they're very conscious about about the object as well about texture so it's it's almost like a mini kind of um, uh, uh, supermarket in a way so yeah so these are the same elements that I also try to uh, reinterpret yeah partly I would say yeah but you know also uh, uh, people view uh, work you know, differently and um, at the same time, the artist also uh, uh, portrays it also uh, in a more kind of like ambiguous way. You know, so people take uh, a lot of different meanings out of it. But um, yeah, but but for me, it's like a, it's a it's like a reflection of. Of, uh, of, 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 of the society. So I, I'm kind of like a mirror which, which reflects uh, what, what, what is uh, happening. Yeah, 
like I would say, uh, when I also started in, uh, in art school, I think it was also like a kind of like a blessing in disguise uh, uh, because when, when, I, when I enrolled in art school, the things were, were not as, as, as normal as they were before. Like you could find uh, conventional materials to make art, but at that time we had to improvise on different, on, on whatever is around to, to make art. So that's how I ventured into uh, uh, making art using objects, you know, which was uh, also a great thing also to, to start with objects, you know, and, uh, and develop that. So it's like now, it's like a reverse kind of thing. So now I'm, I'm, I'm exploring um, uh, really flexible materials flexible and fragile material like paper. Yeah, I would say um, I think exchange is, uh, is a really uh, a big uh, thing that uh, should be looked into, you know, uh, so that um, there is a dialogue in, in, in between uh, uh, different regions and I think that that is uh, a good thing for creativity.